M0A Online Ground School, it's the 31 day Safer Pilot Challenge. Welcome to the Safer Pilot Challenge. What's happening, everybody? Jason Shepard here. Happy New Year. Happy 2023. And I congratulate you for kicking off the new year with a 31-day Safer Pilot Challenge. Every single day in the month of January, we're going to release one video. Your goal is not only to watch it, but to check in in the comments. So check in right now that, that, that you are one for one. Check it now that you are one for one. Tomorrow's two for two, and we're going to take it from there. But every day, this is the challenge. By day 31, to be a safer, smarter pilot in the pursuit of mastery. That's what we're really after. And obviously, if you're all really looking to level that up, uh, check out our online ground school, private instrument commercial, FOI, M0A trial.com. Get in there, lock in that pricing. Prices are going up here soon as well, so you can check that out. Like and subscribe here on YouTube and Facebook as well. I'm going to show you today an engine failure on takeoff with a runway remaining. We're going to take off runway 35, which has a killer crosswind today. Uh, we're going to take off runway 35. We're going to get to about 100 feet. I'm going to smoothly bring the power back to idle. I'm going to count to about three to give that startle effect. Um, remember the miracle on the Hudson when Sully hit the birds? Um, Sully didn't instantly turn towards, you know, Teterboro or LaGuardia or even the Hudson for that matter. There was that three to five second what just happened factor. That's real. It's called the startle response. You need to have that. Otherwise, if you just bring the throttle back, I know what's coming. I know I need to push forward. I know I'm not going to be able to use flaps. I know all these things. you got to give that three to five seconds now. Be very careful. Before that throttle gets back to idle, that small warning horn's going to be on or really close to on. You've got to push that nose forward, but not so far forward that you have that parabolic arc and your bottom leaves the seat a little bit. You're not going to have time for flaps. And again, when you practice this, and you're going to practice it with an instructor, I don't want anybody solo practicing this, okay, unless you are an instructor yourself. With your instructor, you're going to practice this at the longest runway you could find. And this is just a great thing to practice. And, and again, if this were to happen in a shorter runway, Use the runway in front of you. I, I would much rather slowly go into the grass or slowly into the brush up there than I would landing, you know, full speed in the Everglades trying to attempt what we call the impossible turn. We'll talk about the impossible turn more tomorrow. For now, let's get to the video. All right, so my run-up's complete. I've got a Rexair 172 landing here real quick. They're a full-stop taxi back. And I'm going to announce that I'm taking off 3.5. I'm a simulated engine failure on takeoff is what I'm going to announce. We'll do that here in just a second. We'll let them work it in. It is a really windy day. Probably could have snuck out ahead of them uh, when they were on the downwind. I wanted to sit here and more thoroughly do my run up as well. Whew. Good little landing for a crosswind. Who else grades landings when people go by? I do. They did a great job. All right, let's let them clear, and then we'll sneak on out. I did hear a Honda jet earlier, but that shouldn't be a factor. He's like 20 miles out. We'll let them get clear. We're going to give it full power. We're going to take off relatively quickly with the way this wind is. We're going to get to about 100 feet. We'll pull the power back to idle. We're going to then nose it forward. Three seconds about startle response. Mark the traffic, Cessna 100, pop a mic, clear runway 35 on Charlie. Marco traffic. And Mark on traffic, Skyhawk 23 Mike Zulu's departing runway 35 will be a simulated engine failure on takeoff. Marco. I always say that so I don't freak out everybody at the FBO and everybody watching too, but. And you can do this at a towered field. I've done it plenty of times at a towered field. All you have to do is ask. Explain to them what you want to do. They'll give you a takeoff and a landing clearance all in one, one bit. On 3-5, three 3-5 five. Three five outside, 3-5 on my synthetic vision, heels to the floor, toes to the bottom pedals. Smoothly apply full power. Get my crosswind correction in here. Not to turn this loop. Traffic, this is the helicopter, Canadian Gulf, Bravo, Papa Mike. We're at the 1,000 feet altitude. We're All right, the rotate. South peak of uh, Marco Island. Come up. Uh, up. Uh, south here we go. Get to about 100 feet, and power back. One, two, three. Three, nose it forward. And you've got to nose it forward because it comes down quick. And just work it. Eyes down that runway just like a nice normal landing. It's a crosswind. Uh, 
a, a crosswind, no flap. Engine failure on takeoff. That always adds to it. Get your crosswind correction in there. Fly it all the way to the hangar. A little aerodynamic braking. I'm just going to let it roll. And there we have it. Hey, will you subscribe here on YouTube? Like us on Facebook. Who's one for one? And who's going to be two for two tomorrow? Marco Island Travis, Hack 2 Mike Zulu's uh, taxi and clear of 3 5 taxi back for departure. Marco. Who's going to be two for two tomorrow? Don't forget to check out our online ground school at m0atrial.com. Check it out. Lock in price and everything else. That price increase at the end of the month. I can't wait to see you all back here tomorrow. We're going to talk more about the impossible, maybe possible, turn. And most importantly, remember, the good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you. The Private Pilot Blueprint is everything I wish someone would have told me before I started my flight training. It's the definitive roadmap to beginning that aviation journey. You can grab your copy by going to privatepilotblueprint.com.